Hey guys, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. We are still on the second planet. I guess technically the second planet if you want to count this as the second instead of the first. Uh, we just brought ourselves a flamethrower. I also have some more ammo as well, or a pyrorancer. Mm, whatever. We got this though. So this is good. We can burn people now. The flamethrower is great for these little guys. These little guys are like one hitters, right? They gonna die one hit. You could just, we just could just ratchet them, which we generally will use our wrench quite a lot. I think especially in this one. In the others, it's definitely better to use your weapons because you get to level them up. This one you don't have to level them up, and using your weapons uh, need costs ammo, and ammo is expensive. So I'm generally not about using using the weapons unless I truly truly have to uh, we might we could just use them just to, just for funsies we can get the uh, get the old bomb glove out just in case we want to toss a grenade you know it's all good stuff oh clank you've not got your helicopter shit yet that's fine we'll just have to slum it on the ground like like normal people for now Is there, is there another thing around here? I feel like there might be, but I think the current is too strong right now. I think that that I think that's maybe the issue. I think we might have to come back later for whatever's behind there. Nope, those mushes are unhittable. Just love collecting bolts, man. It's so good. It's so satisfying to pick up a whole bunch of bolts. Ratchet is definitely one of my, uh, definitely one of my favorite heroes as well. Uh, even now, I love Ratchet and Clank games, and I love Ratchet. I think he's fucking cool. I love Don't Get Wrong. I like Jack too. I like, I like Jack and Daxter. I think as a duo, I like Jack and Daxter better. Uh, but. I definitely love Ratchet. In fact, actually, Ratchet as a kid, uh, Ratchet is probably where my like you know my whole like half humanoid sort of sort of thing comes from, like the being a Makote and all that sort of thing. Uh, him being one of my favorite heroes as a kid is probably one of the reasons why I love why I love playing characters that are like half humanoid. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's a topic for my therapist. Can we get down here? Oh, oh, I fell. I've fallen now. No. Bugger. Ugh. I'm pretty sure there's a bit of this that you can like actually kind of like jump up at. I'm just not gonna bother. I'm gonna go around because I think it will save us more time in the end. But there's definitely a lot of like speed running stuff in here. You can, especially if you use the decoy glove, I think it's called. Uh, you like throw up a little decoy glove that looks like looks like yourself, looks like Ratchet, and you can use that to like uh, like glitch through walls and stuff. So uh, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing the game normally, but I'm just saying there are a bunch of like speedrun strats that you can implement in this game. Yeah, we got a flamethrower out ready. When these guys all land. Easy. Get the bomb glove out. Is it, can we just switch to using the, the, the D pad yet? We can't switch to using the D pad yet. Double tapping triangle does switch between them though. Or switches between the one that you used last, I think. I think that might be the case. Destroyed. Yo, old man. What are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I, I, I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I got left. Sir, they're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Mm -hmm. How 
Does this ever happen to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's Ugh. why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. The amount of times Al's I've been in the size of a Snaggle Beast without my equipment working gadget, correctly. Since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Wow, we need to go to Al's, Al's Robo Shack. It's Quarktastic. It's Quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We should tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? No. Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Sure. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have the ordinance to keep... No, I don't want to hear that robot lady. Strangely attractive robot help lady. I don't. I do not require this. Let's get all these boxes before we head out. Before we head out to Metropolis. Okay, we should be good. I think there's some like loose bolts at the end of the pool there, but I ain't waste that time. Look how look how spyro this is, man. This this world is like it's all those sort of like bright colors. Oh, he ain't got shit. I don't know, buy stuff from him. All right, let's go. End of the ship. <laughs> what was with that bird? All right, so we can either go to Outpost 11 or we can go to Metropolis. I think Metropolis is the quickest one. Or oh, just tell us there, look. How many How many have we found on here? We found one of three. One of three. I think one's down that gateway there and one was down that uh, bridgeway. Which we go underneath the bridge where that little, like, sewer watery bit was. I think that's where they are. We couldn't get there just yet, so that's unfortunate. Planet Kirwan. Alright, sweet. Go get these boxes first. Look at this city. Look how cool it is. Man, I'm gonna try my best not to like just gush over this the entire time. Hello. Oh, why are you so stretched? <laughs> I didn't realize this. Why are you so like stretched out? <laughs> Is that because it's like because it's no longer on like a on like a tiny TV? It's now on like a really huge TV. It's like stretched him weirdly. Whoa, weird. Uh, we can't afford that. Well, we can afford it, but we don't want to. We don't want to afford it yet. Okay. Because I think we want. We want to go this way first. I'm not sure if this costs us money or not. But I guess we'll find out. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Oh, Clank. What a card you are. You're such a joker. Okay. 
There appears to be no treasure. <laughs> there is no treasure around here. Great. Well, okay. Let's do it then. That's right, fitness fans. Just make it to the third island to oh. claim your reward. And don't forget to tune in this week as I, Captain Quark, appear in person to present the grand prize for the hoverboard championship held in Blackwater City. Oh, well, that, we know where he's going to be. We know exactly where he's going to be now, Clank. To be in Blackwater City. I don't know where Blackwater City is, but you know. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! I was about to say, I remember as a kid having the most tremendous trouble with that. Just like jumping off of a, off of the side of a thing. I could I just couldn't deal with it. I couldn't do it in Mario 64 either as a kid. I couldn't like wall jump successfully very well at all. I like, don't even get me started on like shit like Strider and stuff like that. I could not do that stuff. Oh, I don't think I don't think there's anything around here. I think we can just start jumping on up. Open plus. Uh, open plus. Yeah. We just need to get to Al's workshop though, remember. We can't spend all day on, on an obstacle course. Whoa. Why are you telling me this now? Should you have told me this on the first island? Oh! Speedrun strats, look at that. No! No! I swear to God, the platform underneath us was originally meant to go in as well. Maybe they just took that functionality out and then never bothered with anything else. There's also, like, down there, see where that hole is? With two there you go, look. see those, like, boxes fading into reality? I think there's a golden bolt down there as well, but I think we need uh, uh, an upgrade to clank to get to it first. Listen up, you lard balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course! What do you mean? We finished the circuit, man. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak! Weak! If I was competing, I would be power courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill <laughs> That's very rude, Ratchet. For the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot so you can fade to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay! But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. A thousand big ones! Alright, Helga. You are a beautiful robot gal. You got yourself a deal. Real men can sing without silly toys like that! The two of you make me sick! Bye, beautiful. Congratulations on your new you got a slingshot. That's exciting. We could use that like this, see? Ooh. It's much, it's much better in the second game. It feels quite, uh, quite weird in this one. Oh, a couple of boxes there. Sweet. Still not got enough for that sweet blaster though. I do like the blaster, it's one of my favorites. But we cannot get it. Can't afford that. Alright, well we'll just have to keep going then. No. Got him. Set that off. And we'll come we'll get on the way back. Hit that first. 
Though if we like do like a boomerang wrench, wrench into those, I think we can like blow them up that way. Might be quicker just to do it that way, you know? Oh, also collect ammo apparently. Did not know that. Or I might have and just never really registered it before. I also seem to remember getting something if you break all the lights. Is it a skill point maybe? Uh, so that's actually a thing. This is like one of the uh, games in the PS2 area. It's like the first to kind of have like a trophy system, right? So they were called they were called skill points. When you did a thing in the game, you get a skill point. What if we can like bring it up? Uh, what do you think they would be? Help desk? No. Help? No. Items? No. Gadgets? No. Weapons? No. I don't know where it is. I don't know where the skill points are. Maybe the skill points aren't in this game and I'm thinking of the next game. That would be sad. It might be Ratchet Clank 2. So getting breaking these lands might not get us anything but bolts. And some vandalized points. Don't shoot me, please. I have no blaster. I can't I can't even hit these men apparently. No. Boom. Guess we'll just ignore the uh the helicopter for that. Do you just run away? Do you just straight up like bail? Look at that guy. He's throwing mines. He's a dangerous boy. Ow. Did I just walk onto one of those mines? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I can't believe I walked into a mine. Damn, Al. Why you got so many robots outside? What is this? What's up, Al? That's the man who saw in the info bar. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Match. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Sweet. Okay, Do it. This won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Back it. Am I cool now? <laughs> the yeah, coolest. You the man, Clank. You're welcome. You the man. Ugh. That's funny stuff. Look, see, look, they put this here because they're like, oh, we might, they might have brought the gun, so they couldn't afford it. So they might have to go back to the beginning and hunt for some bolts. But no, because we do. We fall ahead. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Strangely attractive robot help desk lady. We're good. I got this. Ready? Up and up. Already did it. Well, I thought there was something better here. Maybe the place I could like helicopter to. Who knows? Helipad upgrade is sweet.
Okay, well, now we've cleared, we've got ourselves to Al. He doesn't know where Captain Quark is, but he gave us this sweet helipack upgrade, which is pretty damn nice. And next time, we're going to find more places to use our helipad upgrade and maybe get some more stuff. Look and see if there's a gold bowl anywhere. I don't think there is. And we'll head up this elevator as well next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like and a comment down below. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.